Bling, we got a special guest today. Bling, bling, Michael Valentin. How you doing, man? Doing good, good. All you right. guys? Yo, man, we're chilling, man. Glad to, glad to be here, you know what I'm saying? Me too, me too. Do this interview with you. We've been watching you, you know what I'm saying? Your whole, your whole story, you know what I'm saying? Like, fill the people in, let them know, like, what's been going on since the last time we've seen you in the ring. Um, uh, well, after my last fight, um, uh, I got a win majority decision, and, um, I wanted to reveal my biggest secret to the crowd, and uh, my secret was that um, I fought my whole life with a colostomy bag, and after the fight, you know, I got suspended because of it, and um, I had to get in, I had to get surgery to try to move the bag. Um, so in August, I had three surgeries. The first surgery was to take it off. Um, then the second surgery was to because I caught a little bacteria through the whole oper operation, so they had to open me back up and take it out. And then after two weeks having the bag off, um, they had to rush me back into surgery. You know, I remember it was a Friday morning, and I couldn't I couldn't take the pain no more for like three four days. I, I had to stop eating and everything. My stomach was getting hard mm. and bloated. So then they were like, "Oh, you have um." They did a CAT scan, X rays, everything, and they were like, "Oh, you need to get the bag back on as soon as possible." So they gave me twenty four hours, and that was around one o'clock, two o'clock at that time, and. I, I just called my mom and they called my trainer. I was like, yo, we have to get the bag back on. They were like, think about it. I was like, I didn't think about it. I just went right back into surgery and got the, the bag back on. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to fight February 23rd again with the bag on. Mm -hmm. And you finally like, got the green lights, everything is... Yeah, you know, uh, the commission was giving me a hard time. Um, but I think thanks to Angel Tavares, the former mayor of Providence, mm -hmm. um, he got me back in the ring and everything's all situated now. After the fight, my last fight, everybody was getting letters from all over the world, you know, Australia, Ireland, everywhere. Places I think that I, my name would never go to. Mm -hmm. And people thinking, th thanking me for doing my, uh, the revealing the bag and stuff like that, saying how inspirational I was. And I never never knew how much inspiration it brought to people, you know, until I started getting all that, you know, uh, love from the fans and stuff like that. So now, now I'm going to keep going and continue to show the fans what it is, what is what this is all about. And also in, like I was keeping up with your story and um there was a young boy that lost his life as well. Yeah. That um you you got behind that movement. Could you talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, it was a little a little ten year old boy, um, named uh Seven Bridges in Kansas. Mm -hmm. Uh he, he had a, he was getting bullied in school and stuff like that because he had a bag. Yes, he wore he wore a bag too like me. And um, he was getting bullied a lot, and he took his life away because of that. And so this fight, I'm dedicating it to him. Because, you know, I could relate to all that. You know, I went through the yeah. bullying and, and shit like that, so. Shit, man. That's amazing, man. I, go, I could put my feet in his shoes, you know. Yeah, so I know, I know what it is to go through all that. That's crazy, man. Now talk about the fight, man. Are you excited? Are you oh, yeah. This, the, this whole fight week, you know, that's the best week mm -hmm. during camp, man. The, the feelings are coming back, all that adrenaline, everything's right there. You know, we're only five days away. I see you back in training. Yeah, I've been going crazy. You know, three times a day, two times a day, seven, seven days a week for eight weeks. So we're so in shape. What about the opponent that you have to fight? Like? We got a, a little veteran from um, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. He's a one in three. Christopher Bogles, he's 31 years old. Mm -hmm. and, uh, He's, he's going to be my like, toughest challenge to date. Hey, man, but we've seen you in the ring before. We know you're capable yeah, you of... you know, I can box, I can bang, I can take a punch, I can give it. Bring, bring it, man. It's, the, the, the flash is back. My my outfit is crazy again. Hey. You know that. So. What you dripping in this time? This uh, So you know how I was in the hospital for like five weeks? Yeah. So I got a... They made me my own Johnny. Oh, like a personal one nice. with, with the Puerto Rican flag. I got Seven Bridges' name on the back, my yeah, aunt's man. name in the back, and um, I got a skirt too again. So it's it's fly. Um, like what's your like what's your head going through like as you prepare for this match? Like what's your motivation? Nah, I definitely needed to go back to like the drawing board because you know a whole year out, so I had to make sure that I, everything was on point. My timing. You know my my speed, my accuracy. I had to make sure everything was on point. So we that's why we uh, it had an eight week training camp, but I started a little bit earlier. I started in mid December, so. 
How's the Spanish community been like uh, well, the, responding to you? The Spanish community is like helping me out a lot. You know, I got a lot of uh, Spanish uh, stores, uh, restaurants, and stuff like that that are supporting me. Clubs that are supporting me now, sponsored, they are sponsoring me and stuff like that. So definitely getting the help from the, the Latin community. Well, oh, after the fight, uh, you know, we definitely go to the club. You know, have a little parties and stuff like that. Enjoy the night, and then. That Sunday morning, when I wake up, you know, my body's in pain, you know, from all the punches and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I go take a uh, ice bath in the morning. After I eat breakfast, go take an ice bath. And then, that same night, I'm going to go party again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Actually, after the fight, man, we got the Rebel Life Showcase, you know. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to be in attendance. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you guys. Appreciate right. it. You know what I'm saying? So, don't you got an after party after yeah, this no, fight? Yeah, official after party. <laughs> official after party. Come party with the champ at Asuka Lounge, 605 Douglas Avenue, Saturday, February 23rd, after the fight. We're going to be there. That's what's up, man. And Rebel Life TV is going to be there. We're going to get the Everybody, shit. the whole squad's going to be there. It's going to be a party. It's going to be a movie that night. Actually, talk about like the, the music scene in Rhode Island. Like, music scene. Yo, King of Seth put in the work. Right. King of yeah. Seth put in the work. Right. Yeah, that's my dude right there. Him and uh, D. Gomes. D. Gomes like, are taking over. Uh, oh, yeah. You guys are putting a lot of time in that. That's crazy. I've been seeing them here in New York and stuff like that, traveling and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The whole, that album that D. Gomes dropped too. Yeah, they, fire. They're, they're spreading that. Wildfire. Uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of talent in Rhode Island. Just people that, they don't stick with it. They don't yeah. take it to the next level. They just stay right here. But there's a lot of talent in Rhode Island. Speaking of King of he's going to be, you know, also, uh, March 31st. Yeah, yeah, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he's going to be at the fight, too. Oh, yeah? yeah. All right, see? That's what's up. It's about to be a stop the event. Uh, every yeah. one of your matches, though, yo, every people show support, you know? Yeah. Like, we do, that's what I do. Like, with Jay Dudes, he mm -hmm. has an event. I go to his event. He comes to my event. Same thing with JC. You know, we all support each other and stuff like that. That's what's up, man. So, now, I, only got, I, only, I don't got, like, only support from... Just my fans and stuff like that I get from local rappers and stuff like that that we yeah. all try to support each other. Definitely. That's Shit, that's what I was telling my, my bro like right before today, I was like, yo, we gotta fucking hit up Michael. You yeah, know what I'm saying? The fight's dope. coming up, like we gotta go there, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's definitely yeah. being the lit. For real. Jeez. Let him know again one more time, the after party. Asuka Lounge, six oh five Douglas Avenue. Come party with the champ. Rebel Life TV is going to be in the building. Nice. Big Six Box is going to be in the building. Nice. And it's going to be a movie that night, so don't get lost. Nice. And let them know where we can find you on social media. Exactly. You can find me on Michael uh, Facebook, Michael Valentin. Uh, Twitter, at uh, Your Bling Bling. Um, Instagram, Bling Bling Boxing. And you can see all the latest updates with me and my career. Cool. Rebel Life TV, Bling Bling. You already know. Signing up.